hey guys welcome back to my channel i know it's kind of been a while i've taken about like a few months hiatus i don't know what was up with me but i just kind of got a little bit burnt out with a lot with like work and um i just didn't have it in me to post but starting up with august it's a fresh start so i'm gonna be posting from now on so this video might be long because i'm gonna compile everything into one long video so we have August Illumicrate, and I do kind of already, I think, know what this is. I definitely know the book choices just because they tell you already. This is Afterlight, which I've opened up one Afterlight before. Spoilers if anyone wants to see them. So this one is um, Allie Hazelwood's box. I know that I got the Love... Uh, hypothesis as an add-on i've already read this book which is why i didn't get it the first time when the limacree offered it just because i've already read this one is mine pen signed i can't tell and i think mine is digital signature yeah, it's definitely digital I know they had very limited um, pen sign editions. Let's look at the. It's really pretty. What I was most excited for was um, this next item, which is. Uh, Love on the Brain. I'm really excited for this one. I didn't buy the regular edition just because I knew I was getting this one. This is also um, digital. It's cute. Very on the theme. I wonder if this is about her friend. Okay, it's not. I thought because like in the love hypothesis, if it, it talked about like her friend's romance, I thought it'd be like a continuation. But it's not. Okay, so we have a print from the book. Oh, this is the author letter. This is really cute. I love this. The art is amazing. Okay, nice. Then we have this, which is a little um fake book. Don't really have a use for this, but it's cool. And then we have this little cream. Mine is disheveled looking. Um, it smells okay though. It's a body butter. Yeah, mine has quite like solidified, quite ugly, but probably fine to use. And that is it for August Illumicrate. Alright, so here is Illumicrate August, I want to say. Yes, Knowledge is Power. So I think we all know um, the book for this one. Here's the spoiler. I think it says it. I'm so excited. I've kind of seen spoilers for this box, but not really. I've been trying to avoid. First item. I don't know what this is. It's like a pencil case. What is this? Pencil case? What is- I have to look at this. I don't know what this is. Um, yeah, pencil case. By the Atlas 6. Knowledge is carnage. Okay, yeah. Kind of weird. I don't really like this bit to it. But I don't understand it that well. I don't know. It's a weird design. I don't think I like it that much. Alright, whatever. Pencil case. Next. Um, I think this is a pen. Oh, an enamel pen inspired by Bunny. I haven't read Bunny, but I know it's like Dark Academia. I, I know it also has like mixed reviews. Oh, this is really cute. I like this. The backing paper is really cute too. Okay, this I think is the reading journal. 
don't know what it's inspired by. It doesn't say. I think it's just non, um, not inspired by any particular thing. Oh, this is nice. It's a green journal and planner. This is really cool. Oh, and it has, um, oh, this is from A Deadly Education, which I haven't read, but I think I own. This is really cool. Does it have any more artwork in there? This is from Plain Bad Heroines. I don't know that book either. Let me see if there's more artwork that I'm missing. This is from uh, Vicious by Schwab. The Atlas Six. Um, A Great and Terrible Beauty. These are some deep cuts. I don't know a lot of these. The Devil Makes Three. A Lesson in Vengeance. Ninth House. The Starless Sea. Bunny. Oh, I love Ace of Spades. This is a good one. I love Ace of Spades. That's good. Alright, that was all the artwork that um, was in there. Um, let's see what's next. A Illumicrate stamp set. Inspired by a lesson in vengeance. Okay. I think you might need to buy the ink. I don't know how this works. Um, it's interesting. I mean, nice. I don't really know how this works. There's no ink. It doesn't come with ink or anything. Um, but that's interesting. I'm, I can kind of look more into it. Um, I'm looking at the- I'm cross-referencing with the, um, list. So, if you didn't know, our monthly book this month is Babel, and these are characters from Babel by, um, Arf Kwong. I love when creates bookmarks, they're really nice. And this is our book. I think that's everything. Reading journal, knowledge is carnage, pencil case, um, dark academia stamp set, uh, writing workshop, or er, writing workshop and animal pin, and then Babel bookmark set. Yep, that's everything. And then we have Babel. Um, I actually read the arc for this, and I did enjoy it, so. Just put that out there. I'm actually going to open mine because I know that some people who wanted to keep it sealed, um, there have been some misprints running about. And so you don't want to ever, um, unluckily get a misprint and then not know because you didn't open it. And then the refund, or not refund, but the replacement, I'm oh, sorry, period ends. Let me move this. I think with fairy loot you have a week from receiving your package to like inspect everything and then claim damages after like a week or five days five to seven days i think um that period closes so i wouldn't be surprised if illumicrate had a the same if not um a similar policy so this book comes oh my slipcase is damaged a little bit my box was pretty badly like beaten up but yeah, this comes with a, sl a slipcase, which, you know what, it's fine, it's a slipcase. Oh, and that's perfect. Um, an act of translation is always an act of betrayal. Let me put that more in view. Oh, my cover is badly beaten up and dirty. I think I'll contact them, that's kind of gross. And then this is the inside. And then this is the signature page. Cool. Alright, thank you guys for watching. 
Okay, so we have Fairy Loot YA for August. I had to restart because I hit the tripod and everything fell very chaotically. But I love the theme art for this month. Um, super pretty. I love the seance kind of fortune teller vibes. Here are our items. I think there are less items this month. I don't know. It doesn't seem like that much stuff. But I'll just make sure that we get everything and I can tell you what everything is inspired from. Um, so we have a gilded pin. Obviously inspired by gilded by uh, Marissa Meyer. Ooh, this is really pretty. I haven't read gilded. But that's pretty. Okay. Romeo and Juliet list pad. Sometimes I save these little things, but I realize I don't need them, so they're just gonna get tossed. I think moving forward. Romeo and Juliet. What an interesting choice. These- oh, these Valentine's Delights. Okay, so this is like, the quality of it is a little bit fuzzy. It's kind of hard to see on camera. Um, this is a These Valentine's Delights themed item with a Shakespeare quote, I guess. I was gonna say, it's kind of interesting to have an item themed from Shakespeare. Like, I don't know how I felt about that. I love Shakespeare, but I was just like, what an interesting choice for fairy loot. Okay. Celestial jewelry box. And this is inspired by our book this month. Um, this is a new item that I'm not sure I've seen featured in any book box. It is kind of cute if you are um, someone who travels and like you're on the go. I see a tote bag, which interestingly enough, I kind of love the tote bags if, they're, if they don't have like like character faces on them. I've gotten a few tote bags. Um, I think I got a tote bag from a limit crate that I use frequently. Okay, I do like this one. The material's nice. It's just books. I like it. These Wild Delights, One's Been a Broken Heart, An Ember in the Ashes, A Touch Against the, vi the Night, A Reaper at the Gates, A Sky Beyond the Storm from Blood and Ash, Strange the Dreamer, The Bear and the Nightingale, The Girl in the Tower, The Winter of the Witch, Lore. There are some really good books on here, okay. <clears throat> Caraval, there's like the Caraval series. Kingdom of the Wicked, Spin the Dawn duology, Shatter Me, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, we love her, Sorcery of Thorns, Six Crimson Crane, Serpent and Dove, City of Brass, Jade Fire Gold, Ray Bearer, and then Red Rising. This is cool because they actually put like legit books, a lot of books that they've actually done. I wonder if the books that are on here that they haven't done are books that they're thinking about doing or like might do in the future. That's interesting. I think that's- oh, everything. There are, um, this is the book of the month. We're gonna save that for a minute because there's something else in here. We have the tarot cards this month are from, um, Only a Monster, I want to say. Yeah, it is Only a Monster. This is really good artwork. I like it. Justice and then the Wheel of Fortune. Nice. And then we have our um Oh my king wanted dinged, but that's fine, I guess. Then we have our um what do you call these? Mythology bookmarks. So we have I think it's Anubis is one of them. And then the other one is I can't pronounce the name, but they're really cute. They're foiled. That one's definitely Anubis, though. I think I have the wrong name on it, but those are cool. Okay, so book of the month now. Let me move the box before it falls on me. Oops, let me get a better view. So what are we- we're hoping for a book that's not damaged. Fairy Lou and me, we have a rocky relationship because so many of my books come damaged. There's a lot of things in here. Was there another bookmark or something? Yes, the monthly bookmark, which I love the theme art. So pretty. 
Violet Made of Thorns. This is a really pretty cover. I think they might have done a color change. That's gorgeous. Should be signed by the author. Ooh, the cover, the art is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. That's so nice. I want to see the signature though. A map. Nice. Is this signed? Okay, there's a naked hardback moment. It's really pretty, the naked hardback. It gives me like, oh, my book is dinged. Fairy loot boy. The naked hardback gives me like Studio Ghibli vibes. Not sure why. I also can't find, I think that there was, this was a book plate supposed to be in here. I cannot find it for the life of me. This is the fairy scoop. And this is the author letter. I do wish that I could find um, the book plate if it is here. I do not see you. I just feel like I remember seeing people were saying that their book wasn't signed and then I just remembered that just now huh okay that's really funny let me check the box one more time maybe it got sorted in there nothing okay so as usual with Jerry Loop I'm just gonna contact them about um a slight ding in my book because that's a bit annoying and like a pet peeve for me and then i'll also contact them um about the missing book plate but this is serious studio ghibli vibes i don't know why i think studio ghibli out of everything but i just love it really cute book from fairy loot ya um for august i think i'm gonna have bookish box in soon and a luma crate i'm getting a luma crate soon it's just super delayed for some reason i'm surprised i got after light so soon but anyways see you in the next one okay so i think this is fairy loot's august box also finally it is cold enough for me to start relighting candles in the space without it being too hot and i have my little ghost friend helping me out i think no i think i know what this box is yes this is um Arcane history. So I do know the book for this month. Um oh, so Fairy Loot didn't even give me like a shipping notification, nothing. This just showed up on my door, which is usually very unlike them. I usually get like a tracked shipping. Um I don't want to expect the book. I've already seen spoils for this one, so <laughs> I'm not as anxious as I'm usually as I usually am, I should say. Okay. This book is gorgeous. It is so pretty. I love the UK cover a lot. So I like they obviously kept the foiling there. And I do like the color swap that Fairy Loop did because this book is like typically black. They made like a white silver combo. Spine, so pretty. These edges. Ooh. I want to make sure mine aren't wonky. Mine are pretty okay. They're not bad. There's a little bit, like, you can't really see it on camera, maybe, but there's a little bit of, like, weird scratchiness, like, from here and here. But it's not a big enough deal for me to contact them over. So that's fine. Inside art. Let's get to the other flap. And then let's get to the spine. So this is really beautiful. I do like it a lot. 
I'm going to compare this one with Illumicrates side by side. If you don't remember, Illumicrates came in a slipcase. So these are the spines side by side. Fairy Loot Illumicrate. Oh wait, this is not the naked spine though. This is the um, slipcase for a refresher. Oh, also update, I'm getting a replacement of my Illumicrate one because if you remember, mine came kind of dirty and a little bit like messed up. But yeah, here are the naked hardbacks. So Fairy Loot Illumicrate, this is like a silver foiling effect. The front of the book for Illumicrate is like Babel cut in half. This is this one. This one, these two look identical with the slipcase and fairy loots. Illumicrate slipcase and fairy loots hardback. The same, essentially. Um, side by side. Hardbacks. This, I like the marbling. This is the characters as we just saw. And I think the back of the books are the same as well, like the back dissection. And then we have the tower. Um, edges side by side, we have Fairy Loot's Babel, Tower. And then I love the quote by Luna Crate. An active translation is always an act of betrayal. So these are really pretty side by side. I want to just delve deeper because I know that people might have been speculating that Illumicrates had maybe more exclusive content. So, oh, this is the um, I'll show the post. This is the signature page for um, Fairy Loot. They're all pen signed. And this is for Illumicrate. The tippins, I should say. They're looking the same right now. I think Lubricrates has a author letter bound in. Snapple Babble, author's notes, book one. And with a little bit of um, background, I think the fairy was getting good. Yeah, like this is where like the real content starts. <laughs> but Alone Crate had a little bit of um definitions. But I wonder if that's just in the back of the book for fairy loose. So I'll just keep a heads up on them. Author's note and then book one. Let me see if that's the same thing here. Author's note, yeah. So I'm gonna just check the back of Fairy Loot to see if Fairy Loot also got that glossary. No, interesting. I mean, a lot of the words, though, because I did read the Ark of Babel, pretty easy to figure out. Yeah, this is just a spoiler card with the art. But that's it. So I am getting a new edition of Illumicrate's Babel because mine did come the mangled and dirty and gross, kind of. So they're replacing that for me. I did contact Fairy Loot about a replacement for my Violet Made of Thorns because, you know, this part of my book came like nudged and they were like, no. So I think I'm gonna try to smooth it out, maybe with a spoon or like the end of this knife. Maybe I can smooth it out. I don't know. I was a little disappointed because it's like if I had bought this from a bookshop and I saw it like that, I would have returned it, but because this is a subscription, XYZ, I can't. But it's a little disappointing, especially when you should have better quality checks, but. Okay, I've been, it pretty much almost got it completely out. Just with the back of an, um, something smooth. Almost not even there anymore. Yeah, that's pretty good. Simple fix, but still. All right, and that's it for this video. Um. I do have another edition of Babel coming. I cracked and I bought Fox and Woods version of Babel. I think mine comes without the book plate, which is annoying because I had the opportunity to meet Arf Kwong at one of her events and it just didn't happen for me. Um, due to some, you know, complications on the event staff's end, but whatever. So I don't know how I'll go about getting a signed edition of Babel. I'm not sure really, but 
yeah i have fox moss version going which is basically just the same as these only um or as same as the standard editions only it has a exclusive dust jacket that's where the difference is in the dust jacket which you know interesting but i do like fairyless version a lot i don't know I think I still might prefer Illumicrates, but I really do like Fairy Woods. This is so gorgeous, but I don't know. I love the edges on this one more. It's hard. They're both so pretty, and they're both so different. I like how Fairy Woods and Illumicrate both went super all out for these editions. So, in any event, we as purchasers or subscribers um, did luck out. But that's it for this video. If I do get Babbel, I won't add it to this video. It'll be in like the next wrap up or roundup of all my subscriptions. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have um, in this segment, Fox and Wet and Fairy Loot. I just wanted to go over some general updates. I did cancel my um, Goldsboro. I wanted to keep it and review it for you guys, but I just gotta be honest. I wasn't a fan of their choices, um, so I got off the Mystic Box list, uh, the Mystic Box wait list, so I subscribed to that, and I also subscribed to the, um, the Arcane Society wait list. I really want to get Arcane because I love fantasy, but I have Mystic right now, and I'm gonna try that out. Everyone who has Mystic is satisfied, like, over-satisfied, like, they love it, so... Here we are. I also have Fox and Wit with us. I haven't done Fox and Wit in a minute. Like, I have been putting my subscription on pause for quite some time. Just because I know there are, um, whole thing, whoops, isn't customization, but I haven't been crazy about the titles and stuff, so let's see what this is, if this is a book that I care for. Um... I do love the pins that they give. So this month, Dirty Lying Fairies. I think I know the book, but maybe not. Oh, the pin is really cute. Romance Reader. I love this pin. Their pins are so nice. And I, I collect pins, so that's a really good plus for me. They also have really nice branding. They rebranded and, um, or they got more branded stuff. So now they come in little book dusters. Fairy Lit and Little Cray both use these. I like bookishes the most, maybe, because, like, they're felt and they're kind of thick. Something else in here. Um, okay, so this is a other note, I think, exclusive to Fox and Wit, so that's nice. Oh, and this is our cover. Oh, so it's the same. So it's Dirty Lying Fairies. This looks nice. I just finished The Cruel Prince. I know, I'm a little bit late to the game. Oh, the inside's so pretty. It's pearlescent, you can't really see it. Um, ooh, I love this art. Okay guys, my Fox and Wit might have to become on pause because this book looks really good. I hope it's good. Oh, it's my Wattpad. Mixed feelings already. Um, I do like this though. I do like this, okay. Um, so yeah. I might have to see what books they're doing coming up because I do like this one. This one is gorgeous. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so what Fox and what does, they do um another alternate dust jacket. This is the main one. Did I show this? Am I having memory loss? My video. And it's not signed typically or anything like that. It's just um a regular standard edition with a dust jacket. Nice. I'm actually pleased with this. I had no expectations. Oh yeah, I just finished Cruel Prince. I read them all in the span of like a week. So good. I wanted more romance as a romance reader, but it was really good. Now we have Fairy Loot. I don't know my box came like this. I no comment. Um I already saw some spoilers, so I'm not, like, oh, six crimson cranes blanket. 
I don't like the blankets typically. They're too small. I'm not going to even unravel it. I'm just going to show you in the sleeve thing. Actually, they're too small, though, and too thin, but whatever. Botanic coasters. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, they're from Belladonna. Or Belladonna. Hellborn. Nightshade. Fox Love. Fox Love. Pretty. The, po the coasters I've been using, because like, sometimes I'll have drinks in the room. Um, so the coasters I've been using are the ones from Serpent and Dove, I wanna say, maybe? These are prettier. Death was her poison and all she wanted was to consume more. I don't know the reference, but it's really pretty. The one that I have on my desk right now, oh, it's gone. I have one on my desk, but I don't know where it is. Where did it go? I have too many trinkets on my desk, so it's really like one of those things. I don't know where it is. Okay. Anyways. We have a cardin. Oh my gosh. Ah, I just said I just read the cruel prince, so this is like hidden harder for me. <gasps> Usually I hate these kinds of trades. If it's cardin, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Okay. I didn't picture him like with this face specifically, but I'm keeping it on my desk because I love cardin. He's my favorite. I'm obsessed with him. Ugh, okay. Yeah. Happy. Happy. Because I love it. Yeah, that's cute. I'm not even putting it back in the wrapper because it's literally going on my desk right now. <laughs> I'm so like giddy over it. Okay. Oh, and we have our tarot card. And what else? Oh, this is my book plate from my last box. They, um, my book came unsigned, or my book was missing the signature, whatever. So that's it. Sure, we have everything: the coasters, trinket dish, tea tin, blanket. Yes, and the tarot cards this month are from Belladonna. Really? Hmm. Okay. Cool. Death and the Hanged Man. Can you guys see one? The view is kind of wonky because the camera stands in the way, but. I know more boxes are going with less items to kind of keep prices the same, but I feel like these items are kind of lackluster this month. I don't know something about them i mean the only thing i'm crazy about is a trinket dish and i'm not even crazy about the art i'm more happy that they chose um a folk of air item but i don't know kind of iffy on everything okay let me just take the paper stuff out i'm really hoping that my book is not damaged because fairy loot has been playing me recently and in the last book i got that was damaged they didn't replace it i think i mostly fixed it though belladonna so i knew this was <laughs> if it wasn't obvious i knew this was the choice this month this is pretty oh my dress jacket has a little something on it but whatever your name is no curse little bird i like i just like the taste of it okay Oh, kind of makes sense why we got the death card for her month. Like, that definitely looks like death. Okay. Hmm. I want to read this book now. I'm not going to because I think I have to finish. I started Priory of the Orange Tree. Don't know why I did that to myself. That book is so long. But I have started it and I have to finish. I like the um cover. It's pretty. Yeah, that's the book so i'm hopefully getting all my other subs soon so the video will continue but that's all for this segment